Hi friends, welcome back to part three of Joy. If you missed part one or part two, I really recommend going back and watching those videos first. I'll link them below so they're easy for you to get to. Now we have remembered our joy and we know that we can tap into this whenever we need to. We've allowed our joy to continue and I hope that you've been using this little tool in your day-to-day -day life and maybe you watch them all right in a row and you haven't had time, but please consider recalling what's going well in your life every single day and notice how this could help your joy to continue for the long run. Now in part three, we've taken care of ourselves first and this is really important. Now that we've taken care of ourselves, we are gonna focus on celebrating the joy of another. It can be hard to celebrate the joy of another if you are in such a place of discomfort and you haven't done part one or part two. So once again, I recommend seeing those first. But now we're in a little bit of a better state and we could celebrate the joy of another and recognize that this can enable our joy to continue, especially in times when we might be in discomfort. Because life, like I said in our first video, there's always the discomfort and there's always the joy. And sometimes when you're in that deep discomfort, celebrating another's joy can really help you feel joy for yourself. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. I want you to pick someone in mind who their joy brings you joy. Maybe it's your best friend, a sibling, your partner, your child, your parent. Sometimes people are hard, so maybe you like to pick your cat or your dog or your chameleon or whatever pet you might have. And you can celebrate their joy and allow this to help you find joy. So before we begin, just take a moment to think of who this special creature is that you want to celebrate their joy. For this class, you could also take this as just a seated meditation, any comfortable seat on top of a pillow or cushion, on the floor, maybe in a chair. Or if you'd like to join me in the restorative session, you're gonna want one, two yoga blocks. If your hips are super open, I can't relate here, but if your hips are super open, you might not need the two yoga blocks. But if they're tight like mine are, I recommend these guys to help support yourself so you could find ease and fully allow yourself to surrender into the support of the floor and the blocks. Wherever you are, I will see you on the mat. And I'm really excited to share part three of joy with you. Mwah. Hi friends, let's celebrate the joy of another. If you are going to stay in your seated position, find any comfortable seat that supports a tall spine. If you're gonna join me on the restorative side, let's use our two blocks. Place each block towards the edge of your mat. Lay down onto your back. Place the soles of your feet together. Let your knees hang open wide in this butterfly-like position. For reclined bound ankle pose, with support of the blocks. Now, if your hips are super open, mind why not? But some people could lay like this and their knees touch the floor. If you're one of these people, you do not need the block. If your hips are super tight and you have blocks here and they're not supporting your knees, you could turn them up higher or maybe even higher if your hips are really tight so that way your legs are supported by the block. So you can adjust that height based on your own hip flexibility here. Now, I recommend pressing through the knife edge of your foot to scoop your tailbone more towards your heels. This will create space in your lower back. Stretch the top of your head towards the top of your mat. Create space in your neck, chin slightly tucked. I have a couple options with your hands. Pick whatever suits you best. Maybe you'd like to have your hands on your inner thighs. Maybe you'd like to have your right hand on your stomach and your left hand over your heart. So you can connect to your vitality, your breath, and your heartbeat. Or maybe you'd like to rest your palms face up by your sides. Whatever suits you best, find that position. 
If you're seated, you could flip your palms face up on top of your thighs or knees. Wherever you are, close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Let a full breath go. Breathe into your belly, your chest. Seep more air into your collarbones. Breathe out, drop your shoulders. Empty your chest. Empty your left hand. Breathe into your belly, your chest, your collarbones. Exhale, melt your shoulders, melt your chest, melt your tongue. Take a deep breath in. Let a full breath go. exhale to take you into a deeper state of relaxation. Make a conscious effort to soften anywhere that you might be holding onto. Let your third eye center and your temples melt. cheeks feel heavy down the sides of your face. Let your tongue rest on the bottom of your mouth. Relax your upper body. of the floor or the blocks. Allow your breath to help you relax your mind. Let your breath bring you out of your head space and into your body. As you breathe in. And breathe out.
bring to mind a special someone that brings you joy. Maybe this is a person that you love, a family, a friend. Or maybe it's your pet. I want you to envision them in as much detail as possible as if they were sitting right in front of you now. As you're looking at each other eye to eye. Bring them into this meditation. as you witness their joy it makes you smile perhaps their joy makes you joyous perhaps their joy makes you feel open yourself to celebrate their joy. And allow the celebration 
expression of their joy to bring you joy. Allow yourself to feel this joy in every cell of your body. Another's joy can help lift you up. to say to them as if they were sitting right in front of you eye to eye. May your joy continue. If you'd like to make this even more powerful, add their name. May your joy continue. to deepen your breath in and out through your nose. Bring awareness back into your body. Feel yourself fully relaxed. 
posture. Gently slide your hands down to the outer edges of your thighs. Use your arm strength rather than your leg strength to gently push your legs back together after that deep breath. You can move your blocks over to the opposite side you'll want to roll to. Gently roll onto the other side. And rest here with your eyes still closed. Just notice how you feel now. And if you're not already seated upright, gently press yourself there. Place your hands to your heart center. Take a deep breath in. Stay here however long you'd like. Namaste.